Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday morning for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with 6 News WOWT. The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks the following sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club of Omaha also thanks those individual donors that make this program possible. Embody all the wonder of God's love. Thou dost tell the tender mercies showered from our God above. Heart of Christ, who bringest healing to the holy and the weak, let us know thy loving. Good morning. We're pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is Father John Petromali from Christ the King Parish in Omaha. He is assisted by our electors, Sarah's Kevin, Sarah's Kevin Cooper and John Fitzpatrick. Our musicians this morning are from the Institute for Priestly Formation in Omaha. The vocalists are Ethan Keenan, Charlie Bemis, Jonathan Sanink, Ethan Sicking and Matthew Harris. They are accompanied by Gabriel Risave on the piano. And I'm your commentator, Tom Haller. Jesus willingly embraced the, the, the cross out of his merciful love for each one of our, us in order to set us free from sin. We must always put him first and follow him in order to share in his glory and victory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your, with spirit. your spirit. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, we gather this morning to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. So we pause now to call to mind the times that we have failed to love God and those around us. And so we seek the Lord's mercy. And so we pray together, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, graciously look upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ Jesus may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt. But I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him away from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks. 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 Our responsorial psalm this morning is, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today, if today you, you hear, hear his voice, harden, harden not, not your hearts. hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If, if today, today you hear his voice, harden, harden not, not your hearts. hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today, if today you, you hear, hear his voice, voice harden not, not your hearts. hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If, if today, today you, you hear, hear his, his voice, voice harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the love and the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You shall love your neighbor as yourself, and love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, Take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to even listen to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. A again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which you are to pray for, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear friends, Today, the Lord reminds us, especially in that first letter of Paul to the Romans, that we are to love our neighbor as we want to be loved. And again, we are all brothers and sisters of the Lord. So that, yes, our love for neighbor truly is one to help each other get to heaven. So, yes, in today's gospel, when someone has sinned against you, go in and address them, to help them, to correct them and do it in a very humbling way, knowing that you're trying to help them all achieve our ultimate goal for all of us is to achieve our heavenly home. Yes, we are the Lord's disciples. We are all working together as the body of Christ. You know, we gather together, yes, week after week after week, we gather in our churches for you, our viewers, in your home, at nursing homes, assisted livings, and again, whenever two or three gather together, the presence of Christ is there in their midst. And so we recognize the presence of Christ always surrounding us with his love and his goodness and his mercy, which endures forever and ever. 
yes, we're disciples and we're not all perfect. So yes, at times we need corrective, uh, 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 corrective advice so that we can continue to mold ourselves in the likeness of our beloved Savior, Jesus Christ, so that we can be people of compassion and mercy and love. Let's pray that as we listen to these words in today's readings, that yes, we are called to love our neighbor as ourself and to really walk humbly with the Lord, knowing that as we celebrate today, this weekend um, is Grandparents' Day. And of course, our grandparents are people who continue to help us. Uh, they pray for us as children. They care for us. Um, and we pray for them in thanksgiving for their wisdom and their guidance. And so, yes, maybe today, um, grandchildren will be with grandparents, maybe asking them what it was like when they were a child or how they continue to grow in faith over these years, knowing that the Lord has been with them and blessed them and always embraced them in their life. Let's pray that as we come here today to celebrate this Mass, that yes, our communal prayer, that together we're the body of Christ. You know, as we gather uh, to, around to celebrate this Mass today, we're praying with and for each other. That yes, the body of Christ is truly all of us gathered. We are the church, the living stones of the church. And as church, we want everyone to come to know this wonderful, awesome God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and to be people of compassion and mercy and forgiveness. Yes, let's pray that we can be people of forgiveness, that we can be people who really help each other to grow deeper and to, again, uh, enhance one another and support one another and challenge one another to be the best version of themselves. So yes, everyone would know that we care for each other, that we are all brothers and sisters in the Lord on our journey of faith, eventually towards our heavenly goal. Amen. Together we now profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father God Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, earth of all, all things, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for, us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living of the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now turn to our Heavenly Father with all of our prayers. For the church, that as the visible community of faith, hope, and love, Christ's message of salvation will be delivered through us to all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all seminarians who have returned to their studies. We pray for all priests, ordained ministers, and all those in religious life. We pray that they will always know of our love and support of them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those suffering, our sick, or in distress. May they be comforted by those who are caring for them and be encouraged by our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the needs of our community, our sponsors and supporters, and for you, our viewers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good loving God, we are children placed before your altar many, many prayers. Those spoken aloud, those in the silence of our hearts. 
with love for you, we ask that you would grant them according to your will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your support of the Mass for Shut-Ins. Since 1964, your prayers and generosity have helped the Sarah Club of Omaha bring the Mass to so many. We continue to pray for first responders, caregivers, and for all the health and safety of all priests and consecrated religious life. The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks you again as we continue on our mission to support and pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated religious life with the spiritual intercession of our patron, St. Junipero Serra. The Liturgy of the Eucharist now begins. Blessed Lord of all creation, in the nation, may we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, they'll become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God. God forever. Thank you. Blessed Lord of all creation, in the name of the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. Thank you. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Together, let us give thanks to Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty true God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form us in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so now, with all the angels and saints in heaven, we to now join with them, as together we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was in, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, George, our Bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all your people. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your loving mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom power, power, and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins when the faith of your church gathered here, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus, my Lord, my God, my all, how can I love thee as I ought? And how revere this wondrous gift so far surpassing Sacrament we thee adore. Oh, make us love thee more and more. Oh, make us love thee more and more. Had I but Mary's sinless heart to love thee, Jesus. of fervent praise, thy goodness, Jesus, would I sing. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourished and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. Our Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
Please join us as we recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. O God, oh God who wills not the death of a sinner, but rather that he be converted and live, grant we beseech you through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Saint Joseph, her spouse, Saint Juniper, Sarah, and all the saints, an increase of laborers for your church, fellow laborers with Christ, to spend and consume themselves for souls through the same union of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We thank you for joining us today in this great prayer of Jesus. It is a prayer that unites the people throughout the world. We invite you to recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. If you would like a prayer card, please contact us through WOWT and please join us again for the Mass for Shut-Ins next Sunday morning at 1030 on 6 News WOWT. Good morning. I'm Omaha Archbishop George Lucas. The Sarah Club of Omaha, in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha, began airing the Mass for shut-ins in 1964. Each week, the Mass is viewed by thousands in Nebraska and Iowa on WOWT and is also seen online by many others worldwide. Please know we are praying for you as you watch in your home or in other places, including retirement centers and in hospitals. We are indebted to our supporting sponsors, to so many parishes, and to you who for years have remembered the Mass with your prayers and gifts. We ask you for your continued support in order to serve all of our viewers. Thank you for your generous assistance, and may God bless you and your family. been watching the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, brought to you as a public service by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with 6 News WLWT. We hope you'll join us again next Sunday for the Mass for Shut-Ins.